Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I am going to be showing you all my soft plastics I own. And these are all the ones that I carry with me in my tackle warehouse backpack. Sorry if the camera is moving, the wind is blowing the place where I'm putting, setting up my camera. So it's just moving a little bit. So anyways, try keeping the front pocket of my tackle warehouse angler backpack the very front pocket I keep this um, small it's the small size of the KVD uh, Plano Elite soft plastic bag it can hold up to 20 but I can I pack I think a little bit more in here I, they're just all in there and you can fold this down they just all come out and these are the little plastics that I keep in the front pocket and like I said they're the easiest to get to and also they're the ones they're easy to get to because they're the ones I would use the most. So first off, this just came out. I use these for panfish, but they're, I'll just show you right now. Um, they're two-inch triple threat grubs by Collins. They're in Tennessee Shad. It's a little curl tail grub kind of. Put these on a one sixteenth ounce jig head and uh, just reel it in. And crappy and uh, bluegill love this and. You can catch some smaller sized bass with this too. It's really nice. But I'll start off with um, this first bag that just popped out. I've got some Zoom um, baby brush hogs and pumpkin spice. Really nice color. Kind of like a crayfish looking color. It's got like a coffee brown kind of and then like a caramel looking color at the bottom kind of a great it's a great natural color and it has black and gold flake in it they're baby brush hogs so they're really good uh next i got some um uh super flukes and white pearl you guys all know what flukes look like in that color these are probably my favorite pond bait on uh, texas rig they catch me tons of bass, and you can fish them any time of the year. But I especially like to fish them in the summer. Um, they're really great, great bait. Um, it is the Zoom um, U-tail um, worms. This is a the best color is June bug. I really love this color. Basically, is kind of a I don't know how long it is, but it's a curl. Curl tail grub. It's a U tail or a curly tail grub. Or a curly tail worm. Ribbon tail, I guess. You call it. They're really great. I'll use them with the four eye hook. So, yeah. Um, Next, what do we have here? Oh, these are my favorite trailers and also for cold water when the bass are real finicky. You just need to put it just real slow. There are the Key Tech Custom Worms, um, Swinging Impact 4 Inch, and Bluegill Flash. They're just baby little Key Tech, Key Tech, Key Tech little swim baits. They're the skinnier size. Next, I've got um, some Berkeley Havoc Pit Bosses. I've got three pack, three different colors in this one pack. I've got black, blue, green, pumpkin green, and like green, green, blue, or it's like a bluegill kind of color. I don't know what it's called. I'll show it to you. Um, where is it? There it is. I've got quite a few of these. It's like a bluegill color. It's got orange bottom with like a blue top and like blue flake in it. And black and blue flake in it. It's a really great color. The main forge in your pond is like bluegill. Um, like around here the main forge is bluegill. So that's really, that's really well. Here we have some more baby brush hogs and watermelon red. Um, we got some Z-Man Elastec um, Finesse TRDs and Canada Cross. It's the only natural colored um, uh, one they had. This is the most natural color. It's just a little finesse worm. The other colors are like chartreuse, pink, and whatever else. Next, we got my favorite uh, Cinco's of all time, are the Gary Yamamoto 5-inch uh, Yamasinkos and Watermelon Black Red. 
next to watermelon red colored. Sorry if the glare is really bad, I'm outside. Next we got some um, Stray King Rage Crawlers uh, Bama Crawl. Uh, we got some more Rage Tails. Um, Strike King Rage Tails. But we got the Structure Bug and Watermelon Red Plate. But we got some more Gary Yamamoto Custom Baits. The 5 Inch Swim Cinco and Green Pumpkin Black Plate. If you guys have a green pumpkin chatterbait or a dark color chatterbait, get the 5 inch Gary Yamamoto um, Slim Senkos. They're a Senko with the little paddle tail. I usually cut off that much of the head, maybe a little, like that much, maybe a half inch, maybe in half inch, yeah, something, something like that. Maybe that's an inch. About an inch off. And you put this on the back of for a trailer for a swim jig or whatever you want. And it is just amazing how it looks in the water. I mean, this has great action. You guys have to try this out. It's ridiculous. Um, next, we got um, two colors of trick worms. Uh, zoom trick worms. I got some watermelon violet and green pumpkin green. Watermelon violet was a limited edition color, so they don't have them, I don't think, anymore. But it's a very clear watermelon with uh, violet flakes in there. And while I'm at it, I'll show you the green pumpkin green. It's just green pumpkin with black and green flake in it. Um, another, the second to last thing is a Berkeley Havoc um, green pumpkin green and purple uh, juice worm, 8 inch. There's just more curly tail worms. And the last thing here is my drop shot bait is a, um, what do you call them? Robo worms, a uh, six inch straight tail robo worms, and hot tip is the mean green. It's the green pumpkin kind of color with the chartreuse tip. Love those for drop shot. I'll keep them in this little plano bag. I, I fit all that in here. It's a lot of plastics. Um, now for um the the extras I have or just baits that I don't use. I just bought, but I don't use them at all. They're just, or they're just extras of stuff, or in wacky colors, or stuff that I bought that I didn't really enjoy using, but I just have them just in case. So anyways, here we have um, some Zoom uh, tubes, uh, four and a quarter inch, really, really, really big tubes and disco green. I'm not going to take them out, they have too much salt and I don't want to get salt out here. Next, we have some more baby brush hogs and uh, sprayed grass. This is a great color for dirty water. Um, here we have some uh, Zoom G tail ringers and green pumpkin. There's like some more. Let me take. They're they're more curly tails, except for they have like they're like a smaller. They're a smaller size, and they have like a U tail, and they have a lot of ribs in them, so it gives all the vibration to the fish. Uh, next, we got some more of those U-tail ones, but these are in a motor oil chartreuse. It is a kind of a green body with a sh really bright chartreuse tail for super, super, super muddy water. When, like, after it rains and it's just muddy, you can't, there's no visibility at all. Here we have some of the Missile Baits D-bombs and uh, the candy grass color. I like these. They're great for flipping and pitching. Um, so they have those ribs in them, and it just gives off tons of vibration. Next, we got some Rage Tail Cutter Worms and Hard Candy. These are really, really interesting. I just have one rigged up in here with a uh, fish head spin, quarter ounce. But, anyway, you get the idea. It's a Senko with a rage flange connected with like a string kind of thing here. So it's like a swim bait almost. It kind of acts like a paddle tail a lot. Um, it's a great bait for grass and heavy cover. It comes through weeds and gunk, all that stuff really nicely. But I just haven't caught a fish on it yet. Um, they're really nice. I, just that I haven't gotten 
gotten to a fish yet with him. So I just put him back there. Um, here we have some more. These are, I have two more packs of flukes. These are just extra ones. I've got one in white ice and one in uh, disco violet. It's a kind of a clear with black and violet flakes. And this one is a like white bottom and a like clear um, top with like silver flakes in them. Here I'll show you my, um, we're almost to the end of this, my structure bugs, uh, or like creature baits kind of. Um, here we have a, um, the, I don't know what these are called, but they're made by Yum, and it's like red violet. Though I have it in a different bag for the other bag ripped. I forgot what they're called. But I don't like them a lot because they don't stay on the hook. They're very slimy and the hook just slides out. I've tried every single way. They're probably just meant for flipping and pitching, but I texted rigged them, but it didn't work. That's why I just have them in this little bag because the bag broke. Um, next we have some Berkeley Havoc Crawl Fatties and Green Pumpkin Red. And we have some KVD Perfect Plastics Rodents and Watermelon Meat. This is a really great color. Um... They, this bait is super finesse. I haven't had any action come out of it. Texas rigged. But the watermelon meat color is... I ne I didn't know what the, what it meant by when it said meat. I knew it was a watermelon, but I think I know what it is now. As you can see, it's just a watermelon red. And then it has this purple, just a little purple all in all of them. Just like that like barely any it's just i just find it really weird i don't know that's supposed to be like that or whatever next the last two things i've got are my worms here we have some finesse zoom finesse worms and disco green there it's like a clear with like teal and black flake and then i have and i have another color in here it's a green pumpkin gold flake and my last thing is some Berkeley Havoc Money Makers and uh, watermelon. Let me take these out for you. These are great cold water baits, but it's not cold right now, so I have them in my other extra box. It's a wacky worm, but it has like these little balls at the end of the uh, worm itself. It has like two little circles. And it, it, I guess it just makes it better action down better like wiggling action down to the bottom of it but I couldn't tell you I haven't fished with them a whole bunch but I just know they're great for cold water because I fished with them once in dirty water and I caught quite a few fish when it was like 20 degrees outside no it wasn't 20 I'm just making it up but I did catch some nice fish um and it was the water was really cold I'd say that in the low 40s it don't, the water was almost frozen. So anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you haven't already, subscribe. Um, and have a great day.